Hi, I'm Andrew Stevenson, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make your own lined journal in Affinity Publisher or any publishing software, really, in under five minutes. Now, you might be wondering why you would want to do that, especially when you can download them for free from places like BookBolt. And there are a few reasons. Firstly, it's just a fun thing to do. It's a good skill to learn, especially if you want to get into designing uh, low content books anyway it's always a good idea to learn how to do the basics secondly in designing it yourself you own the copyright and that's not massively important in line journals but when you start creating more complex low and medium content books you know it, it becomes really important and thirdly by making it yourself and having access to the source files you can edit it in any way you want you can customize the book different uh, page numbers different line width different columns you can niche down by adding different embellishments to every page uh, and things like that so you can make you know hundreds of different journals from this one template each one unique each one niche down to its own uh, purpose, to its own group, to its own audience. But before I do any of that, I am not the sort of person to ask you to smash, hammer, bash, clobber, whack, or you know, physically assault any kind of button. But if you could just take your little finger and click on the subscribe, it would be much appreciated. Now let's crack on with today's video. So here we are in Affinity Publisher. We're going to create a new document. We're going to ignore these presets because we want a custom 6x9. So let's go straight to layout and change that. We're going to ignore the rest of this. Default masters on. Face and pages is on. Margins are the next thing we want to change. Margins are important to make sure that everything that you want to be on the page is actually included on the page and not accidentally trimmed. Um, Amazon do post margin guidelines, but the thing to remember is the inner margin, the gutter, is affected by the amount of pages that you have in the book. The thicker the book, the bigger the gutter has to be. We're going to ignore bleed for now. I believe this is important when you create more complex planners with images that extend to the very edge of the page, which we will do later on um, in a later video. But for the minute, we'll just leave that. No bleed. Makes things a little bit similar. Just turn the margins on. So this is the first page of the book. The right-hand side page as you look at it. So this left hand margin is a bit wider to accommodate the spine. Everything we want to print needs to be in this margin. This is the master page. Now I'm not an expert in design software or designing. So there are better videos that explain master pages out there. But basically anything you change on these pages will ripple through the rest of the document as long as the pages have um, the master page assigned so as you can see there it has the right side of master page A assigned to page 1 so anything I put here will appear here uh, that's important to note you've got all of these margins visible as per because this is the left hand side page the right hand margin is bigger to accommodate the spine the first job to do is to draw a table now I don't want all of these columns so I shall delete all bar one and I'll extend it to the other end of the margin. So we're left with a table that looks like that. We've got lines on a page. Not quite a line journal, but it's getting there. Next, next thing to do is I want to change the depth, the distance between these lines. So to do that, I select all of the cells and I change the height. Now, you know, lots of different types of paper 
have different types of uh, you know, distance between the lines. I'm going for 7.8 millimeters because you know it it sounds about right. Now I'm working with inches and millimeters, which is a sin, of course. But um, you know, do it how you feel best, you know, and don't be too concerned because Affinity Publisher will sort all of that out for you. The one thing I want to do is to make this top line a little bit, a little bit deeper. Um, again, just be more in keeping with lined paper, so I'll change that to 0.7 inches. So there you go. We have lines nicely distant. On the page because we've made the lines further apart the cells bigger it's extended the table off the page so again we'll just delete probably delete up to there so we'll have 26 ish lines and i'll just turn the margin off just so you can see so that's it in a minute you know, it looks more and more like a line journal you know, i'm sure some people would publish like that and it will be fine but we're gonna you know make it a bit better what I want to do is remove the outside lines of that table and to do that click on all outside click on the color and just turn it off and that's it there are other things we can do in this panel we can turn so you, you can turn a vertical line back on if you wanted to. And for, oops, for no, you know, some reason, you might want um, a, a little margin down the side there. You can do that individually with these options there. But I don't want, don't want that. You can also change the um, on side lines. You can change the cell stroke, make it a bit narrower because that was quite thick. So you can change that to say 0 0.3, which makes it a bit, a bit more refined. You can even, if you so wish, change it into a dotted line. Again, just makes it a little bit different. I like the look of that, so I will um, Control Shift drag it across to the other side of the master page turn the margins back on so I can make sure I'm in the right place and that's it that's basically the entirety of your book Just add some pages um, you can add as many as you like I'm gonna add 109 just to make it a nice 110 page journal one thing to consider is the more pages you have the more expensive it gets to print and if you have over i think it's about 150 pages that inside gutter needs adjusting again to make it bigger kdp do do a calculator so you can work out the cost of the printing they also do the um, margin guide which I'll, I'll show in an earlier part of the video 209 pages after page one with master A assigned. And there you go. That's your line journal. All that's left to do is export PDF for print 300 dpi. Change this to all pages. If you leave it on all spread, it you know, you'll run into difficulties when you try to upload it, upload it to uh KDP and there you go it's one simple line journal another thing you would do is before you even start making the, the document you can file um, export as a template so Let's do this as a six by nine. Um, and then when we come to make a new document, 
Go templates. And there it is there. You've got to add the folder first. Um, and that's it. That's all set up. Your margins are set up. Your page size is set up. 110 pages. And then anything, say anything you, you change here will be rippled through the book. So that's it. Simple lined journal. In the next video, I'll show you how to customize it even more. Um, by adding embellishments, things that can help you niche down to a certain target. You know, if you if your target is line note journals for children uh, with dogs, then you know you can do that easy peasy. Um, it just helps make your book a bit more unique and then a bit more attractive to the audience you're after. So thanks for watching. Again, please do subscribe to the channel if you've found it helpful i am planning on doing another video soon um because this is in affinity publisher not everyone has that you can also do this exact same method in microsoft publisher um it's it's slightly different but you, the result is the same so yeah stay tuned for that please like subscribe turn notifications on so you know when me videos drop and have fun designing thanks for watching